Hi everyone, this is Joe. Just want to give you a quick overview of Kite and how you can design something you may have seen on the website. It's this cool kind of Twitter heart explosion animation. Uh, has You click it and it has kind of heart grows from the center and these kind of cool particles fly out. Uh, it will give you a good overview of the workflow of Kite and how to design something uh, similar to this. Uh, what I've gone ahead and done is I've created this sketch document that has uh, all the layers we'll need uh, recreated. So there's a heart shape and these particles and some of the borders we'll use a little bit later. And we'll use this as jumping off points in Kite uh, to import and get started. So we'll launch Kite here and we can create a new document and I'll change the window size here to get a little more room and I'll pull the timeline up a bit. And so from the document, it looks like we'll need a 375 by 375 canvas. So I'll go ahead and put that here. And so our canvas is the right size. And what I'll do next is I will go to File, Import from Sketch. And what this is asking me if I want to import these as shape layers or image layers, I want to import them as shapes because I want to preserve some of the editability, uh, the Bezier paths, and some of the things we'll use to animate later. So I'll import them as shape layers. And so you can see as it imports, it, uh, it's pretty good. Um, starting off point from sketch here, it's pretty similar and gave us all our colors and paths information uh, and layers here on the left. All right, and so uh, just starting off, it looks like what we want from the video here is it starts off as a gray heart, and when you click on it, it kind of goes away, and these circle borders kind of animate in. And so what I'll do is I'll just duplicate the heart here and start off with just a uh, you know a gray color. It looks pretty good. Uh, that looks all right. And so now I have a, the gray heart, and next we want the, uh, the borders. So I have two borders here, a white one and a red one. And what I want is the borders to kind of animate from their center position. So I'll go ahead and drag the anchor point of the border uh, to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And let's see, because uh, I want them to animate from the center. Um, and if, if too many things are snapping there. There's a little trick you can hold command while you're dragging to uh, turn off the snapping, which makes it a little easier if there's a lot of snap points in your vicinity. Uh, okay, so we have this uh, the inner border here, and we want to have that animate from it's a scale of zero, zero, uh, and we'll just click on the scale and have animate it with a basic animation. We want it to scale up to one. It's 100% uh, full size. Uh, and we'll animate it from zero. So we'll start at zero and animate to one. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, we'll actually do the same thing for the outer border. Um, we want it to do the same thing. So we'll just copy this animation and paste it on the on the outer border. Uh, let's see. Oh, but that's, that doesn't look exactly what we want. It's animating from its top left corner uh, anchor point. We need to change the anchor point from the center uh, to get the same effect. So we'll just take off that animation, go into the outer border, and drag the anchor point to the center position. I'll get it right at 0.5, 0.5. Uh, let's see, yeah, 0.5, 0.5. And so now if I turn the animation back on, let's see if it does what, it, okay, yeah, so now it's coming from the center. I'll uh, re-enable that layer as well. Uh, we also need to remember to set its initial value to zero, zero. And so let's see, we have these two animations here. The red expands out and the white follows just closely behind it. Uh, as you can see, we can move these around in the timeline here. 
Uh, but we, what we have is uh, the, the white just kind of is the same exact size, so you got to get this little light little red ring around. So to fix that, what we can do is just animate the white to like 1.1, uh, just so it fully covers the red as it expands out. That's a little bit more like what we want there. All right, it's looking pretty good. Um, so the next thing we want to do is this gray heart in the center, we want it to animate out. Uh, when this animation occurs. So what we'll do is just go to the opacity of this and add a basic animation. And we'll just animate that to fully uh, transparent uh, zero. And we'll move this back early in the animation. We actually kind of want it to you know, happen very quickly. So we'll make it very small. So it animates out and the borders animate in. Uh, okay, so the next thing we want is that red heart in the center to animate and kind of scale up. If you remember from the video, it kind of scales up with the two borders on the outside. So uh, let's do that. So we'll get, grab the heart and we actually want to do the same thing. We want it to animate from its center position. So we'll move the anchor point to uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. If I can uh, get it right there, okay. And let's go to, we want it to start off uh, with a scale of zero, but we will scale it up with a, this time a spring animation. And we want it to go to uh, one, just 100% uh, of its original scale. And let's kind of play that back and see what we have so far. It's pretty good. Uh, we kind of want the heart to be a little less springy, I guess. So let's, uh, let's drag out a little loop here so we can see if we can iterate on this animation real quick. Uh, so let's change the uh, dampening to about 12 and have no initial velocity. Okay, yeah, that looks a little bit more like our original that we want. All right, so we'll pause that, remove the loop, and Let's kind of preview what we have so far. Okay, that's kind of looking pretty good. Um, what we may want to do is uh, have this present in just a window so it's easier to see, so we can keep going back and forth real quick. And what I'll also do is change the presentation background color to white. Uh, this will kind of just make it a little bit more easier to work with as we go back and forth. So if I uh, present now, okay, that's getting pretty close to what we want. Uh, we actually want these animations to happen when we click this gray heart. So what we'll do is we can go to the library and drag out an action and just drop it either on the layer here or right on the canvas. And so that adds a mouse clicked action to the, to the uh, gray heart layer. And we want to drag all of our animations uh, here uh, to have them play when this uh, when this action is triggered, so we can what we can do is just drag an animation over here and drop it, and this dialog comes up and it will ask you. So this animation currently is playing back when the timeline starts when we start the presentation. Uh, that's not what we want. We only want this animation to play when we click on the heart uh, and when this action is triggered. This mouse clicked action. So. Um, we want to remember this answer. Uh, we want this to do this every time we drag an animation to a action. We want it to not play at its begin time um, and just play when the action is triggered. Uh, you can always change this if you click on the animation and see this plays at begin time checkbox here. Uh, that's that's what uh, toggles that uh, toggles that behavior. All right, so we got that one. Uh, we also want the, the heart scale and these two scales of our border. Okay, and with that, uh, let's give it a look and see, and we click it. Uh, but that's not exactly what we want. It looks like all the animations are playing at exactly the same time, uh, and we don't want that. What we want is this kind of staggered uh, animation that we've designed here in our, in our timeline. Uh, and what we can do to recreate this um, and the action is there's a this de delay by begin time. So we can click that and now each of these animations when they're played will be delayed by the begin time from the, you know, the zero zero marker here. So uh, they will have that staggered uh, design to them that we've 
made here. So let's try this one more time. We'll click this. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Um, that's kind of what we wanted. Uh, so it's looking good so far. Uh, what we're going to do next is we are going to uh, animate these particles from the center. They're kind of going to fly out when this uh, action is triggered. And but we'll uh, we'll we'll get to that in the next part. Um, it's coming up.